What's up, everybody? Jay Z here with JazbeesCaseBreaks.com. Just filled up 2019 Bowman Draft Baseball Super Jumbo Edition. Three box half case break random teams number 21. And again, 29 total spots. No national. So everybody gets a random team in the MLB. And again, five packs per box. 120 cards per pack. And again, remember, no nationals. So 29 total spots. So from Karen all the way down to John. And then you got Diamondbacks done to the Blue Jays. And here you go. Here's the list. Let's roll it. I mean, that dude could buy whatever he wants, right? Maybe he just didn't want to buy the lines. Uh, five and a two, seven times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Sin Yin. Then Adam. There you go. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seattle Mariners, down to the Pirates. Yin, you got the Mariners. Ryan, Padres, EA, White Sox, John, Cardinals last one, Jothan with uh, Indians, Raul with the Red Sox, Karen with the Twins, Michael with the Giants, Jordan with the Orioles, Ryan, you have the Rangers, Robert with the D-backs, Josh Cruz with the Marlins, Adam with the Angels, Charles, you have the Yankees, Joshua with the Reds, Karen with the Dodgers, Austin with the Cubs, Randy with the Rays, Raul with the Brewers, Fun with the Royals, EA, you have the Phillies. Paul with the Mets, Dan with the Rockies, EA, you have the Braves, John with the Astros, Dan with the Blue Jays, Joe, you have the A's, Josh Melton with the Tigers, and Adam with the Pirates. All right, guys, I'll advertise it, and I'll give you guys time to make any trades if you guys like. All right, St. Louis for trade, Rolls for trade. Let me turn on. Uh... Hey, look, it's just this is easy, Aaron. You're you're a Lions fan, you know what I mean? And I think you you are just like any one of us. Even though our teams don't do as well and haven't done as well in a very very long time. You just love the sport and love the team. You're just going to continue to buy, right? You continue to buy the merchandise. You know, every once in a while, maybe not as much, but breaks too because you love the players. But I know, obviously, them getting uh, rid of the owner maybe changes a lot of things, right? But at the end of the day, I think uh, you're still going to support them, you know? <laughs> and I think it all solves itself, you know? All right, guys, I'm just opening up the case in the meantime. Uh, let's see. Pirates and Angels for trade on a two-for-one. I'm not sure, Vanilla Gray. I don't know how complex it is. I, I honestly don't even know how deep it goes. You know what I mean? I don't know how deep it goes. Like, So you're saying that the fans don't demand more, so the owner doesn't like to spend money? Is that what you're saying? On players? Or what are you trying to... Like, I have no idea. I'm just trying to get what you guys are getting at. Like, is he a horrible person? <laughs> or are they a horrible family person? No worries, Aaron. Hey, we're having a discussion. Discussions and breaks. Time, uh, I was going to say Time Warner Cable. All right, guys. Going once. Going twice.
Time Warner Cable. TWC trade window close. All right, guys. Here's the case. Monsters. All right, so the way I usually do this, is you have three boxes at the top, three boxes at the bottom. I do one, two, three for the top, four, five, six for the bottom. Check this out, guys. Should I should I use these? You guys remember uh, Star Wars Episode One about the chance dice? You guys want to try this out? If it lands on red on the top, it's gonna to be at the top. If it lands on blue, it's gonna be the bottom three boxes. I don't know about these for like ten bucks. Alright, so what did I say? Red means top three boxes, blue means bottom three. Blue, go to the bottom. I'll put these boxes over here. Alrighty. All right, and again, I showed you guys the list. But does she really run the team? Like I said, I haven't really examined it too much. Like, is she really going into the office every day? Well, what happens to this then? What happens when she passes away? Who takes over? Just goes down the family line, right? Trying to pay people back in like the 1920s or something. Oh, is that another thing? So you guys, you guys didn't like that they kept Patricia. She said sell and go retire somewhere. <laughs> is she like in great health? Like is she like still planning to live for like another 10, 15 years? Imagine being a nine year old owner and like all the anxiety of owning a team at that age. I don't know. I believe... I know it's a little different. I can't speak for them because I'm not a Lions fan. I don't really know too much, but... I know sometimes you just don't want to abandon ship after a year or two of a head coach, whether it hasn't been working out the last couple years or not. I think Stafford getting injured doesn't help. You know what I mean? Their defense was always been a little decent the last couple years, right? But, again, I don't know. I feel you, though. I think, I think the majority of people do want the owners to sell. And move on. So if that is the problem, I just don't know. Is that really going to solve the problem? Like if Jeff Bezos comes in and buys the team, is that going to solve all the problems? To 150? Maybe does it occur to people, maybe people don't want to live in Detroit? That's always another thing too, guys. Like honestly, like I think it depends on the city. I mean, money, I guess, talks, right? Small to 150. Milwaukee, but at the same time, does a player want to live there or play there for that team? No, oh, so you're saying Caldwell's not the guy. I mean, sorry. Patricia's not the guy for them. Gotcha. Is it? I mean, I drove by Baltimore. I don't know. I've never been to... i never been to... Uh, i never been to Detroit, but I drove by Baltimore. I didn't look bad at all. The city... 
I'm only like an hour away from Philly. I know, Bezos is probably just going to buy the whole league, right? <laughs> if he could, he would. Prado, four ninety nine. And Greg Jones for TB, thirty four to fifty, class of two thousand nineteen. Oh, nice. Well, that's good. Yeah, I know Detroit Red Wings have a new arena. That's for sure. I heard the Little Caesars arena is a pretty solid place, right? All right, so that's TB going to Randy. Nice. All right, but no, yeah, man, I... I can trust you when you say that it's just the ownership maybe making the bad calls and the bad decisions for the for the team at a 250 liberator and a one out of five Logan Wyatt red Bowman's first for the Giants Michael Koontz nice one And then we got for the Cubs, Chase Strum. Austin with the Cubs. Well, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, whether some people hate sports or not, like it give it brings a community around, right? Especially like, like I said, bringing up Katrina, like New Orleans winning the Super Bowl just brought so much like hope and you know joy after a very sad situation. You know what I mean? I mean, the Detroit Red Wings went to the playoffs for like 25 straight years. It's just their football team, you know what I mean, has it's, it's been the one that's kind of been a little disappointing. Hockey had them in that disappointing. It's just the last couple of years now they gotta got to rebuild and get back to the to the glory days. At a 250, Troyolo and Walston. But I would like to see the Detroit Lions do well, man. Especially a team that hasn't done well in so long. Kind of, kind of want to root for them, right? Arizona, Robert. Yeah, and it's true. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, everybody can kind of come together in a way. All right, guys. Remember, this is all the paper base. Skim through that. I believe we pulled our three autos already. Or how many autos we're supposed to get out of here? I think it's three, isn't it? Hobby gives you two. Yeah, it's true. I mean, honestly, that's how... Oh, is there five? So I'm missing a couple then. One, two, three, four. I'm missing one. Hobby gives you three. That's right. You're right. To 499, Cape. I, that's what I was saying, man. I hope the Eagles win a Super Bowl in my lifetime, and they did. Now, I'm not saying I don't want to see them win another one ever again, but it'd be nice to win a couple. Kelly to four ninety nine for Milwaukee. Same thing with my Kings. I thought the Kings would be like the Kings would never win a Stanley Cup. You know what I mean? Just get too close to ninety three as I was a year old. But they won two out of three. So that was good. Oh what's up? Oh, I don't have any breaks just yet.
All right, next box. Yeah, if you've seen the text messages, you tell me to get two out. Okay. I feel you, man. It's true. I mean, look, how about this? Would you rather taste... Like, put this way. Obviously, I'm not as I'm not as old as you, born in the '90s. But imagine like how it feels for the Eagles out of all the teams in the division that never win a Super Bowl up until two years ago. And I don't know. Sometimes I feel like, do I want to? Uh, do I want to? Would I have taken to be something like that, where I hadn't won a division since 1993, or go to the playoffs, NFC Championship four years in a row? And lose the Super Bowl. And, you know, go to the NFC Championship five out of nine seasons and not even go to the Super Bowl. It's crazy. Those early 2000 years, man, even though I was only like 12, <laughs> those were rough. I would hope to pull another than McDavid. SP Gaming's is a nice one. Alright, here's the next box. No, I told you. It was, I, think, uh, I think I told you guys, right? It's, it's going to be listed in auction at the end of this month, I believe. So look out, it should be at Leland's. Le Leland's auctions online. So hopefully soon though. I remember they said at the end of this month. I'll look, maybe we'll look it up a little bit later when we have time. See if it, if it actually is up there. But I'm very eager as you guys to see what's going to sell for. Hopefully. Hopefully for a lot more than we predicted. Oh, no worries, Vanilla Grove. Uh, two McDavid's of what, Rex? I used to pull McDavid's left and right. Back in Jaffe's Hockey Land Day. One time I pulled four McDavid autographs in one day. I think one was from Cup, one was from Premier, one was different products. I still have the photos to prove it, guys. <laughs> I think I still have all the photos that I had from Jaspi's Hockey Line on my phone. Kelly. Oh, like if one customer has pulled two RPAs? I'm pretty sure there has been. There's some crazy hockey, cup hockey fans out there. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, but at the same time, man, I mean, this is my job. You know what I mean? I don't I don't expect anything. You know, if, if anybody ever decides to give me something great, you know, I'll be more than happy to accept. But at the same time, you know, I'm not trying to just take anything. You know what I mean? I'm just happy that you guys broke it with me <laughs> at the end of the day. All right, guys, here you go. That's a little smudge right there. It's just the way it came out. Boston Red Sox. And then we got Hunter Bishop. Out of 99. Draft pick breakdowns. I do, Vanilla Grail. I'm not going to lie. And... I don't know how I got into this. I just know I wanted to do something with sports and 
growing up, I did love sports cards, so I really, got, really, really got into it after high school. Like I was, I was hustling, selling at local card shops for people, buying for people, listing for people, uh, and by the time you know it, you know I got into it with Jaspies and really worked my way up, honestly. Like I told you guys, I didn't really want to be a breaker back in the day. I was a little too nervous. It was like, I'm a shy person when you first get to talk to me. <laughs> you know, and I'm over here and I'm over here to be on camera. So that's why I didn't do breaking immediately. It took me a little time to grow out of my shell. But I'm happy I did and hopefully I can do this for a very long time. I think the card world is definitely moving up. And definitely getting the youth involved with YouTube. So it can continue to go after all of us are all old, right? So yeah, that's why I don't really collect as much anymore either. Just because I get the itch from you guys, right? I mean, I still collect Miles Sanders. There are certain players that I want to collect, but not as much as I used to. Johnson, the race. I know, it's either a breaker or nose guard, right? That's, that's pretty much pretty much it those are my options to 150 Floreal Will Wilson of 50 nice one for the Angels Adam Ewald I gotta show you guys photos of me when I was in high school playing football stud stud Out of 499 McConnell. Pins to 250. And for the Rockies. Michael Toglea Colorado Rockies a fan Oh, sorry, Josh. I know it does suck when you go on a cold streak, man. I've seen it plenty of times. But I've also seen it plenty of times, man. It's going to turn around. It's going to turn around. We still have one box left, man. Let's get you a blade day. Let's get you that blade day. All right, guys. One more box. Still five autos out there and some numbered cards. Last box. <clears throat> I ho I think so, Aaron. I really think so. I think uh, I think the Na uh, National Hobby Shop Day was, I would say, success for us. You know, just being open for a couple weeks, and I think our us being in the local a local newspaper did 
boost our you know customer clientele within the city of of hermosa alone and just south bay and ever since then we've been getting a lot of customers from all around south bay and all around southern california come to our shop so i think advertising the grand opening just enough will get more people to come in here so i expect there to be a handful of people now i may not be here throughout the whole day i'm sure it'll be just like how it was with the, with the national hobby shop day where there's just like you know 20 30 people at one time and then it's kind of a little dead for a little bit and then it's packed again and then dead a little bit but um i expect our grand opening to be pretty solid and like i said if we were, if we're able to get some extra surprises in there that we're hoping for i think that'll definitely get us over the top <laughs> no i did not see that rex i actually turned off my alert so i don't get anything anymore Nice, Atomic, Vlad Auto, okay. Nice when you're about. All right, guys, last box. I think you should get it graded. I think those kind of cards are definitely better to be graded. But I think they also sell pretty well raw. As for price, I have no idea what his value is right now since it is the off season. But I think someone in the chat can help you out. Oh, there's Josh. There you go. Josh saying not to get it graded with best. Is best a little bit too thick of a card, maybe? Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, exactly. Just make it, you know, make it a day. And that's the one thing we're trying to advertise is that, like, since we're in Southern California, you know, and if people are visiting, make it a day. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, we'd like you guys to stay here throughout the whole day, but there's a lot of things to do in SoCal, right? Especially here in L.A. You can go down to Hermosa Beach Pier, get a couple, couple drinks, go to the beach if it's nice and sunny. Like, today, guys, it was, like, almost 80 degrees here by the beach. It was a little warm today. You know what I mean? So, and then... Like I said, if you're already visiting Southern California, you can go out to Disneyland, which is not too far from here. Go to downtown LA. There's a lot of different things you can do here, of course. Yeah, I definitely think if it's a nine or below, definitely uncrack it. Yeah, crack it open, sorry. Not uncrack it. Because I think that always diminishes the value for sure. I think you want it to always be nine five or better. Greg Jones for the race. Oh, that's why. Gotcha, gotcha. Garcia for Texas. And behind Ethan Small is Nick Quintana for Detroit. Tigers going to Josh. Josh Melton. You think so? I mean, it could be.
250 Driscoll. And for KC, Alec Mars to 71 and Quintana for Detroit again in green to 99. Kansas City, that's try to trade Mojo. Fine with that one. Got here Corbin Carroll 299 baseball factory all American baseball so I'm gonna go by the checklist but if there is no checklist affiliated with this then it'll go to the team that he's currently on or team he's affiliated with and if he's not then uh, everybody gets a shot at it and we got for the Rays right there to 150 everybody's saying Arizona is that AZ all right cool I trust you guys and then another AZ Nelson to 499 So that's the case. Robert, you just got back-to-back -back hits. Nice. Alright guys, let me go through the hit recap, but I think that's the break, guys. I appreciate you guys. I know some of you guys may hit nice. Some of you guys may have hit nothing. I know that's just the way it goes sometimes, guys. But again, uh, I do appreciate you guys breaking with us here and with me. And I will make it up to you guys. That's always my mission. All right, so you got AZ there, Carbon Carroll, Nelson, Marsh, Quintana, Jones, Baum, Toglia, Wilson to 50. That's a really nice one for the Angels. Uh, you got one there for the Red Sox, back-to-back. -back. Kelly, Kelly again, Walston, Strom, Wyatt with out of five. Greg Jones to 50. Ethan Small to 150 there. And, oh, no problem, Adam. That's a nice one, man. And, of course, we have all these other numbered cards here that will be top-loaded by our shipping team right now. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Second half in the store. Probably going to go next.